whether aggressively moving around or traversing with caution, your speed will determine the time it takes. Here's everything you need to know about mobility. Stealth is all about movement. Speed matters in rare situations where you're required to maneuver around enforcers. In loud, it can be used to go past open areas quickly and reduce the risk of vulnerability. In entry point, your maximum base speed is 14, 22 while sprinting, 8 when crouching, and 4 during prones. You can use this formula to calculate the current speed value. Take your base speed, multiply by weapon speed, times armor speed, last but not least, multiply with back speed. Finally, you have it, the mobility value. Here's what to be aware of when calculating. Whether in your inventory or equipped, each weapon has its own mass that needs to be accounted for. With lighter pistols allowing you to move more freely compared to cumbersome light machine guns. It is important to select the right gun for the job. For summarization, the current value of weapon mobility modifiers is now shown. If you want more statistics and recommendations of individual weapons, I'd suggest you watch Edipoint Weapons Showcase. The modifier only accounts for the heaviest gun. To combat the penalty of Sawblade and Thumper, you can take Heavy Weapons Mastery to help relieve the negative modifier. Though it claims to reduce the penalty by half, it instead sets the speed penalty to 10%, making both weight similar to rifles and shotgun. With weapons accounted for, time to tackle armor. Each grants ballistic protection, but in turns hinders your mobility. Going overkill may impact your time spent in broad areas where you're more susceptible to gunshots. The value for each armor type will now be shown. Contrary to popular beliefs, the Aegis armor is lighter than what is claimed, at 0.83. There is one remedy, however. Engineers are able to reduce the speed penalty by 40%, making them quite advantageous for staying out of crossfire. A prepared operative is always seen carrying bags. These are versatile for containing equipment and weapons. Standard bags, demolition charges, or cash or lightweight allowing you to move more freely, while bodies, diamond drills, or servers constrict your speed greater than light bags. A common misconception is the contents inside your equipment bag can alter the speed. This is pure serendipity. No matter what you put inside the bag, it will weigh the same as a light bag. It is important to manage your loadout and bags, as it can be detrimental to your success. Another factor towards mobility is stamina. This will determine how long it takes before fatigue. A measly 10 seconds won't get you far. Use spare perks, get conditioning to aid in stamina length. Each adding 2 seconds per. Sprinting reduces stamina. Consumption rate defaults at 1 second per second. Always be careful when carrying bags though. If you are harder, light bags will make it 1.5 seconds per second. While well, heavy ones will drain you out at a rapid rate of 2.25 seconds per second. After sprinting, a 3 second delay will play before replenishing your energy. The regeneration speed is always 10 seconds, starting from empty to full. Having more stamina time will not increase the regeneration speed, which is a good thing. Good news for mercenaries, they receive an additional 4 seconds of stamina. Furthermore, their regeneration speed decreases by a third making it 6.6 .6 repeating decimal seconds. A huge improvement if you ask me. With this knowledge I've parted, you're one step closer to becoming a legendary operator. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next time, when I'll be discussing a keystone in the basics. Attachments. Until then, farewell.